This is the continuation of the lesson for class 8 for the subject of chemistry topic displacement of hydrogen from alkalis which is covered in chapter 6 study of the first element hydrogen and is being submitted to you on 18th January 2021. Metals like zinc, lead and aluminium have a unique nature. They react with acids and can even react with hot concentrated alkalis to form hydrogen and a soluble salt. Students, you may observe the displacement of hydrogen with alkalis on page number 6 of the notes which is sent on 18th January 2021. So, oxides and hydroxides of zinc, lead and aluminium are amphoteric in nature. That is, they react with both bases and acids to give salt and water. You may observe the reaction for this over here. That is on reacting ZNO which is zinc oxide with hydrochloric acid will give zinc chloride plus H2O. Similarly, a reaction of zinc oxide with sodium hydroxide will give sodium zincate and water. Students, now I will give you three a very short questions from the chapter. You will get a three minutes break to write the answer. The questions are, question number one, name the metals which is most and least reactive in reactivity series. Question number two. Which two elements do not displace hydrogen from dilute acids? And the last question number three. What product is formed when zinc reacts with sodium hydroxide? Students, now pause this audio for three minutes and write the answers in your chemistry notebook. I hope you all have written the answers by now. Let us check the answers now. So answer number one is potassium K is more reactive and gold which is AU is least reactive. Answer number two. Calcium, Ca and Mercury, Hg. And the last answer number 3 is Sodium, Zincate and Hydrogen Gas. Students, now I am ending today's lesson by giving instructions and homework. So instructions are You all are required to listen the audio again. And revise the topics which we have done today. And homework is do questions 1 to 16 from exercise 6a given on page number 102 of your notebook. Thank you and have a nice day.